Hey guys, what's up? It's Tech Teenager, and today I'm just going to show you how to increase the performance and the battery life on your iPhone or iPod Touch running iOS 4. So really with the release of iOS 4, Apple has added a bunch of cool new features like wallpapers and multitasking and stuff like that. But um, actually if you have an older device, it really bogs it down and decreases the battery significantly. So uh, I'm just going to go through and show you some quick tips that you probably don't know about to uh, increase battery life and performance. First one being Spotlight Search. So you want to go into Settings and then go into general and then go to the home button and then go to spotlight search and so by default all these things are checked and you really um, what this does is it makes makes everything readily available so uh, if you don't use it go ahead and uncheck all these it will speed up your device a little bit so I want you to know with that you can just go back to the home button and, or just go go to the home page so the next thing is actually the number of apps per page and just like a desktop computer if you have a lot of things on your home screen, it really slows it down just because of the fact that um, even though you don't know it, it actually does provide um, a little bit more power to these items just because of the fact that they're on here and they could be launched at any time. So try to try to cut down on the number of apps per page. I'd say about eight. And uh, just have a couple more pages instead of um, less pages with more apps. So just try this and you'll notice a lot better performance when just scrolling from page to page. And actually, if you can, um, put, put apps into categories, because even more so than just different pages, um, what this does, it, it just provides an image of all the apps, and then when you open it, then that, that's when it actually loads all the apps, and that's that little delay between um, pressing, on the, pressing on the folder and uh, the folder popping up. So another tip to increase battery life is actually, um, if, you're us if you're not using your, I I your, your built-in speaker, make sure it's turned down, because uh, contrary to popular belief, your device doesn't just send a stronger a stronger signal to the speaker, it actually just provides more power. And when you have it all the way turned up, just because you're not listening to anything doesn't mean it's not supplying power, it's just not sending any signals. So if you're not using it, go ahead and turn that down. And the next main things are all located in settings, and uh, they're fairly obvious. Uh, the first one being airplane mode. If you have an iPhone and you're not going to be receiving calls or making calls and you're not going to be able, and you don't need to be reached like urgently, Go ahead and turn this on because what it'll do is uh, it'll cut the communication with your cell phone networks. And uh, basically, what this does, it allows the larger iPhone battery to be used only for games, videos, and music and stuff like that. So uh, that's really handy. The next thing you want to do is um, if you're not on a Wi Fi network or if you're away from a Wi Fi network, make sure Wi Fi is turned off. It's just a waste of battery because it does power the Wi Fi chip. And the next thing being notifications. You want to make sure these are turned off as well, because what it does is it constantly checks the internet like every five minutes and uh, sees if you have anything new. So uh, if you're not watching out, this will really creep up on you and drain your battery a lot. So make sure those are turned off too. The, probably the most obvious thing is the brightness. And um, I've seen a lot of people who are used to having their brightness all the way turned turned up all the way or halfway. And really, um, if you if you, you really want to have it in the lower third, like around this area, I keep mine at about here. And it will take a little bit of time getting used to, because like after you've had it that bright, it does seem a lot darker. But trust me, it really does help. And um, make sure auto brightness is turned on as well, just just so like if you're in a sunny area, it uh, knows to turn it up a little more. And if you're in a dark area, it can turn it off a little or turn it down a little more. So these are all just just minor tips. And so uh, if you have any other tips I didn't mention in this video, leave a comment, and I'll be sure to post an annotation and put some information in the description, just letting other people know. Uh, how to increase performance and battery life. But uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.